There are many applications out there that allow you to control your desktop using your Android device. But let's flip this the other way. Let's control our Android device using our desktop. There are two methods that you can go about doing this. The first is designed for multiple computers and the second is a little bit more easy for single computers. So there's an application available called Synergy. I've talked about this in a previous video. It allows you to connect your physical keyboard and mouse to multiple computers. But it's not well known that they developed an Android app to do this too. So I have this installed on my rooted Galaxy Nexus. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. And I have four different fields that I can fill in. The Synergy client name, server IP, server port, and input device name. All I'm gonna do is change the server IP to match that of the client on the desktop. So let's move back to the desktop. I've already got mine running, but you should see something that looks a little bit like this. All we have here is the IP I need in bold, 192.168.1.100. You'll see that I've actually already got that entered in. And I'm going to go ahead and configure the server. Again, this is already pre-configured. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, this is the username of my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and drag the monitor down underneath it because that's where I want my Android device to be, underneath. Oops, let's do that again. And we're going to call this Android. And that's as simple as that. If you have more devices, so other computers, you can put them in these other fields around here, but we're just going to use this one for the time being. Click OK, and it's pretty much ready to go. There's a connect button on the Android app. I'm going to press that, and it should tell me, there we go, client Android has connected. And now if I go to move my mouse around, move it down, I can now move it around on the Android client. Now I'm going to zoom in on this just so you can see this uh, using my camcorder, and you'll see that I have the little mouse going around here, it's just a little dot. I'm going to click and I'm going to start typing. Hello, I am typing on my physical keyboard. Okay, I spelled that wrong. But you also see that uh, I have SwiftKey installed and I can click those things to make the uh, typing a little bit faster. But that pretty much sums up what Synergy is. You can use that to connect your device to your desktop uh, with multiple desktops too. So it's a very nice way to do that. Now let's move on to doing this with a single desktop. Let's move to something a little bit more simple. This is ShareKM and it's available in three different versions. We have Wi-Fi, USB and Bluetooth. And the great thing about this is if you want to use the USB version, you do not have to be rooted. The other two, you do. I'm going to go ahead and use the Wi-Fi version. And again, very, very simple. If I go to the settings, I've got my switch side here set to bottom, similar to what I did in the other. And this time I've got my fixing coordinate set to portrait because my phone is obviously set up right. So let's click OK and start that Wi-Fi server. Actually, I'm going to make sure my IP is the same as the other one, 192.168.1.100. Click that start Wi-Fi server and go to the app on my phone. And I've already got this paired, so you simply need to just go to connect and it will give you the IPs that you can connect to and it will connect up. But I'm going to go ahead and connect and you'll see how quick that was to get it connected. Just give me a notification. I can drag my mouse down and there we go. Here is my mouse. It looks more like a mouse than the other uh, app showed me. But you can see I can go on, I don't know, onto YouTube, uh, search. Search for my name like I've done there, mobile phone, 2003. It's very quick. Now, a lot of people can say, well, maybe you can use something like VNC, but the problem with VNC is it does get a little bit laggy if you put it on the desktop as it's doing the constant graphics over the network. This is merely using the keyboard and mouse for this. So I can even use my scroll wheel on my mouse to get this working. So that's very nice to have. If you want to reply to notifications and things like that, you can use this for that. If you have a lot of typing to do in your Android app and you can't copy and paste it from your desktop, then you can do that too. So that pretty much covers it. That is Synergy and ShareKM. I'll provide all the download links in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. <sighs> Stupid thing. Oh, control. Oh, 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 oh,